defending defending champion, two Pete, three Pete potentially. So it's been uh, a month from now for the first time since you know what the CFL will be back to normal CFL games. We'll report to training camp on May 15th. Preseason will return. The regular season will be back to its normal schedule time. And so will the draft. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers have seven picks, number 9, 18, 38, 47, 56, 68, and 74 in this year's draft. What do they need? A major problem for the Blue Bombers is their lack of Canadian players on the team. In the CFL, you need to have 25 Canadians on the roster. As of now, the Blue Bombers only have 21 on the rosters. If they want to three-peat, which supposedly, uh, what's his name, uh, Riley, the coach for the Lakers, uh, whatever his name is. I want to say Michael Riley, but that's not it. Pat Riley, that's it. Apparently he owns three-peat, so I might get sued for saying three-peat. The team also needs depth at defensive line, linebackers, defensive backs, and the receiver position. Bombers general manager Kyle Walters needs to get a winner with the ninth overall pick because they might have to start or contribute in year one. Some prospects the Blue Bombers may have their eye on are offensive lineman Zach Pelhos, which I'm always like, first round, you pick an offensive lineman. That's what I think. Unless you're super stacked. Defensive lineman Nathan Cherry and wide receiver Anthony Mag- Magalungu. Uh, Pelihos, addition to the team, would help both to protect Zach Calaris, who was sacked 14 times, making him tied for 10th in QB sacks in the CFL, according to the football database. During his mature career at the University of Ottawa, Pelihos was lauded several awards, such as the 2021 AFL. UA first team all star, 2018 A O U A second team all star, 2018 O U A all rookie team, 2018 Matt Anthony rookie of the year award, and 2018 G G's offensive lineman of the year award. Guy has got game since losing Jonathan Kongbo, who signed with the Denver Broncos in January. The Blue Bombers are lacking depth at the defensive line position. Nathan Cherry is a player that can come in and add an immediate impact for the Bombers, who are in pursuit of their third consecutive Grey Cup championship. Cherry played 41 games, racking up 56 total tackles, 12.5 tackles for loss, 10 sacks for 70 yards. The Bombers are also in search of a kicker since Sergio Castillo left for the Edmonton Elks. Castillo, great interview on the Markcast, if you want to check that out. Uh, the bomb, Actually, I'm a big fan of Sergio Castillo after that. I have my vision board, Sergio. I got my vision board right next to me. That was from you, my friend. The Bombers will be bringing in multiple prospects to camp to compete with Mark Legio and Al Ali Mortuda for the starting role. Legio appeared in 14 games in his first year with the Blue Bombers, kicking and punting. During the season, he punted the ball for the Bombers 96 times, totaling 3,000. 275 net yards. He also attempted eight field goals and made five of them. Ali Matordia joined the Blue Bombers on August 30th, 2021, and was the club's place kicker for five games, beginning with his CFL debut in Edmonton on September 18th. He finished the career connecting on eight of 15 field goal attempts, 53.3%, and was 17 of 18 in converts. He also averaged 66.7 yards on 28 kickoffs, which ranked second in the CFL. Quote, we've got some names out there that we'll kick the tires on, Walter said. The discussion is how many we would like to have at rookie camp, and we get eyes on guys prior to that who's interested and who's not, and are there global prospects in the draft that might fit the mold? There are a lot of different options we're discussing. This is from Lamarck Wiley Jr. on from CFL News Hub. So what do you think? Do you think this he's got some guys out there? You think somebody else the Blue Bombers should take in the 2022 season?